Hey, it's Angel Bane, and this is episode 48 of my author's diary, and I am so excited. My new book, The Relentless Hero, is gonna be out and available for you guys to get. So I decided that this episode, I take y'all behind the scenes of The Relentless Hero and give you an idea of five things that you're gonna find in that book. So, first up is Mina's Life Takes Center Stage. So many readers have put in different reviews and stuff that, hey, it's, you know, what really happened in Mina's past? Like we learned all the stuff that happened in Julian's past, but she never came clean about her marriage or anything that was in her past that made her come to St. Basil. And that is very true because I always plan for the story to be a series. In The Relentless Hero, you start to get a little bit of more, well, a lot more information around what she went through in her past, what she went through in her marriage, and how that might come back up and wreck her relationship with Julian. <laughs> so it'll be a lot of uh, kind of relationship angst that starts to come out between them because her past is gonna come back to haunt her big time in this book. Now, the second thing that you'll find in this book is deeper love. Now, deeper love between Julian and Mina. So, in the accidental hero, that's their courtship phase. That's them getting to know each other and deciding that they want to be in a relationship together, all while trying to, like, not die. <laughs> well, in book two, now we see Julian and Nina in Africa. They're in Nairobi, Kenya, and they're trying to figure out how do they just be a normal couple with each other, going through normal couple issues and they're trying to settle into this new way of kind of being together and all the different challenges that presents while trying not to die <laughs> and that brings me to the third thing i am introducing a really brand new diabolical foe and you'll see like in the in the prologue like he just comes like straight at you and you really get the sense that this guy don't have nothing to lose. He ain't afraid of nobody. And he's out for just what he's going for. I really crafted this really, I think, unique type of villain for them to face in this book. In addition to the overarching villain that is always in the background pulling strings trying to keep them apart. So um, that'll be really exciting. And I'm excited for you to meet the new villain. And the new villain's name is Tubik Harad. <laughs> and then the fourth thing you'll find in this book is Julian gets a chance to be a part of a team again. Because if you guys know, okay, so I'll give you a little bit of a hint. So for being an art conservator, Mina finds herself in a lot of danger, a lot. She gets kidnapped a lot. She got kidnapped in The Accidental Hero twice. And guess what? She gonna get kidnapped a whole bunch of times in The Relentless Hero too. So instead of Julian being out there Lone Ranger trying to find her, he's in a country that like, he's only vaguely familiar with. He needs help. And I bring him help in the form of a new team. So the new team is called Tactical and Intelligence Defense Executive Services. And it's a group that's made up of a bunch of ex-special operatives, just like Julian, one of which has an interesting connection to him in the past. Um, a woman named Sunny Tate, and they were both in the Navy together working special ops. So that brings another interesting dynamic to the relationship between Julian and Mina for Mina to come face to face with a woman from Julian's past. <laughs> so exciting. And then the last thing that you'll see in The Relentless Hero is that I'm really transitioning into more of the way I like to tell stories, because you guys know, I started off co-writing books with Rachel Woods, who is a mystery author. So The Accidental the Hero, shush. So The Accidental Hero, it has a lot of mystery elements in it, like who done it, who killed Ella? How do we find out who killed Ella? And towards the end, it really starts to shift into the suspense thriller type of books that I like to write. So now in The Relentless Hero, it is very mystery light. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of questions that people are gonna be like, well, wait a minute, who's doing this? So it's just a little bit of mis you know mystery in it, but it's really a lot of suspense and thriller and danger that I keep throwing at them. And they have to dodge and be relentless to survive with their lives. <laughs> 
So those are five things that you're gonna find in The Relentless Hero. And if you want to keep up with me and all the ups and downs that I go through as I try to write and publish new books, click the subscribe button. Then don't forget to click that little silver bell so you won't miss when I'm doing a video. And I will see you next time.